Mouse and Word again. The Russian army is technically capable of launching caliber cruise missiles from missile carriers in the Mediterranean. However, to do so, they must violate NATO airspace. Dmitro Pletenchuk, the spokesman for the Ukrainian Navy, stated the information during a telethon. Technically, we are within the strike range of those ships in the Mediterranean. However, it's unlikely that Russia would dare to use them, Pletenchuk stated. He added that if Russia decides to launch missiles from the Mediterranean, they would have to pass through the airspace of NATO member states. The Ukrainian armed forces have destroyed a total of 28 Russian ships, including the submarine Rostov Nadonu. Among the destroyed ships are three cruise missile carriers, a submarine, and two new ships, specifically the newest ones, the Askold and Cyclone. These vessels represent various classes, ranging from a flagship missile cruiser to missile boats and units designed for deploying small numbers of troops and patrolling, such as the Raptor, Cerna and Tunnets. At present, Russian Navy officials should be very worried about the future of the Black Sea Fleet. Ukraine is taking out the fleet's warships faster than Russia can build or reinforce them with ships from other regional fleets. As long as Turkey blocks warships from passing through the Bosporus Strait, connecting the Mediterranean Sea to the Black Sea, the only way for the Russians to reinforce the shrinking Black Sea fleet is to transfer smaller vessels to the Black Sea by river or to build them in Black Sea shipyards. It is not for no reason that, in April, Ukrainian commandos sabotaged the Russian missile Corvette Serpukov in Kaliningrad on the Baltic Sea. The Buyan-class Corvette was one of the few Russian warships small enough to travel to the Black Sea via canals, the Volga River, the Don River and then the Sea of Azov. After all, the Ukrainians have been developing or acquiring from their foreign allies an array of long-range anti-ship munitions. The United Kingdom and France have given Ukraine Storm Shadow and Scalp EG air-launched cruise missiles that travel as far as 155 miles. The United States has donated several models of ground-launched Army Tactical Missile Systems rockets. The Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Oleksandr Syrsky, said that Ukraine has a realistic plan for the return of Crimea. However, for obvious reasons, the military commander cannot give the details. Retired British Colonel Hamish Stephen de Breton Gordon told the 24 Channel that he agreed with the opinion of the Ukrainian Lieutenant General. According to him, Ukraine can really deoccupy the peninsula and this will be the end for Putin. The naval forces destroyed the Russian Black Sea Fleet, which was defending Crimea. Ukraine is gaining more and more control over the air, taking into account the new air defense systems and the arrival of the F-16 aircraft in the near future. If Ukraine gains air control over Crimea, this will allow ground forces tanks, armored personnel carriers to have the freedom of maneuver to liberate the occupied peninsula. I believe that Crimea is definitely within Ukraine's reach in the next few months. Discussion of this is useful because Putin knows that if he loses Crimea, it will be the end for him, the retired British colonel said. Then, in his opinion, a peaceful settlement can be achieved earlier. 
Therefore, Crimea is definitely in the field of view of the generals in Kyiv and there is a very real opportunity to return it. What can be the deoccupation of the peninsula? Hamish Stephen de Breton Gordon noted that the liberation of Crimea is likely to occur in a combination of land and sea operations, increased pressure on the Russians and long-range strikes. Ukraine apparently would like to return Crimea with the least losses, but this will be a big challenge, said the retired British colonel. Ukraine controls the Black Sea and gets more air control, it becomes quite possible. He is sure that Ukraine wants to return Crimea with the least damage to its troops. That's real. I could not say it six to twelve months ago, the expert stressed.